Happy Halloween ladies and gentle fish. So it's been a year since I made the first part of the Halloween build hacks and I gotta say it is now one of my most viewed vids in my channel. And since it is spooky month again, I thought, hmm, why not make another Halloween video? I got a few more spooky builds for you to show so let's get right into it. The first build I'm going to show you is a Grim Reaper using a block of coal, blackstone stairs and slabs, a blackstone wall, and a diorite wall. For the site, use any fence you like and a deep slate wall. Now it depends on what type of wall you have chosen, I use the deep slate one because it matches well with crimson. And if you're in Java edition, you can get a debug stick and disable the top part corner of this wall. That makes our site even better, just don't mind the missing textures. Now onto his face, we'll recreate his skull with a white banner and a few black and white dyes. And now we have a Grim Reaper. Another option you can do is make him levitate by breaking the block below and made some minor adjustments at the back. Overall, it should look like this. And before we move on, here are a few additions you can try to add to the Grim Reaper. A Soul Lantern. If you want to add lighting and make him hold something, the lantern is perfect and it gives off a nice blue shade. Another thing you could do is make him cast a spell by raising his right arm and adding stained glass on top for some magical effect. This is definitely my favorite addition for the Reaper. I have more to tackle about these Grim Reapers but I'm gonna have to do that in my next spooky video since we still have 19 more builds to make. We now move on to the next one as I introduce to you the new Grave Designs. If you recall from my previous Halloween build hacks, the old tombstones were not that best at that time. So here I prepared 4 new grave designs. The first one is a simple tombstone design with just polish and side blocks. Add some candles, a flower, and a picture frame using banners. This will complete the look of our tombstone. can change Steve's head if you want your own head or your friend's head to be in the picture frame. Here's what the grave looked like so far when you did this type of tombstone. For now, it looks plain and simple, so we need more variations. This is where the second design comes in by placing a cross on top of the regular tombstone. Another design is to place a Polish deep slate slab or any slab you want above the ground. This one's called Above Ground Burial. By combining these two to the graveyard, you can see it's looking less plain now and has different variations. If you notice, I use various blocks for each tombstone. I got a few more designs to add but that would be for another video. The last design on my list is an old wooden tombstone. You can use this type of tombstone for your medieval village or for pirate themed builds. Before we move on to the next one, I just want to congratulate Zero Beta for winning Minecraft Head's Halloween Screenshot Contest. Zero, if you're watching, congrats and thanks for participating as well as adding me into your build. It just looks amazing. Keep it up with the building, my man. And of course, don't forget to join my fish court as well so you get updates, chat with me, and many more. That's it for our short ad. Let's get back into the video. Since we made a few grave designs, I'm going to show you a few coffin designs as well. The first design is a vampire coffin you can use on a castle or gothic builds. Add candles to the sides. 
That's our vampire casket. Pretty simple and with a good background, it makes it even better, especially at night. You can also make an open casket design with lecterns because of its angled shape on top. You can use any trapdoors like spruce, dark oak, or birch as long as there's no hole to be seen on the trapdoor. Pretty simple design for an open coffin. Now you can try closing the other half of the coffin with strip oak lugs since they have an almost similar texture on top. Pretty neat alternative. In addition to the open coffin or tomb, you can make a mummy. Building this beside our tomb would make it look like the mummy escaped from it. For the eyes, use a black banner with some white and red dyes. Add webs to make it realistic. And there is our mummy, looking spooky. Few notes I like to add are the mummy's eye color. You can change it to any color you want, especially the yellow color. With the same banner design as the mummy, we can make a monster in a closet. Really spooky. Just be careful not to go inside there. And speaking of monsters, let's not forget our cute carved pumpkin buddies. You can decorate them by adding a nose using an acacia button, which I will now do whenever I place carved pumpkins because it's cute. You can replace it with lightning rods if you want a longer nose. I like how silly he looks. I call him Pumpnokyo because of his long nose like Pinocchio. You can also make your pumpkin fashionable by adding a cap on top. But if you don't feel like adding a cap to your pumpkin, you can always add some hair, mainly black stone stairs, so it looks pretty stylish. Last but not least, you can make him a clown by adding a medium amethyst to the sides and replacing the acacia button with a crimson one. This is definitely one of my favorite pumpkin decorations and it just looks hilarious. Combining all of them, they look great for a front yard decoration. There are more designs and variations to explore. You can experiment a bit to see which ones you like and maybe come up with your own pumpkin decoration. And if that's not enough for you, you can stack them all up, making you a carved pumpkin totem. Here's an extra 7.5. If you surround the pumpkin with red sandstone slabs and rooted dirt, you can make a squash pumpkin design. In this next one, we'll use the decorated pumpkins to make a scarecrow design. For this, I'll keep it simple and easy for you guys. If you're ever looking for a huge pumpkin decoration to display, then this one will scare you away. Start by building the whole pumpkin using a regular pumpkin, not the carved ones, just the regular ones. Feel free to pause and replay the video if I'm going too fast. The pumpkin stem will be made out of spruce stairs and trapdoor. Now for my favorite part, carving the pumpkin. For this, you can copy my design of the carved pumpkin or go freestyle and carve your own design. It's up to you.
for added bonus used dripstone for the spiky teeth of our pumpkin. And that's how you do a giant carved pumpkin. Perfect for Halloween decoration. Like I said earlier, you can do your own carve and design for the pumpkin just like this. Different faces for each pumpkin. And if you want to take it to the next level, you can add legs using rooted dirt and extra pumpkin for the sides for a pumpkin golem. Very spooky. Now, I've shown you four pumpkin builds already, but I promise you this is the last one. And of course, I saved the best for last, and that is a pumpkin carriage. I'm starting with the base using crimson blocks. Now let's add the wooden wheels with spruce and nether stairs. You can change the block palette if you're not a fan of this look. Alright, after that you want to grab the other materials needed and let's do the pumpkin now. This is optional but you can add so lanterns outside for subtle lighting. And finally, let's add this skeleton horse to complete the look of our carriage. And there it is! Looks pretty good to add anywhere in your world. Let's take a look inside. All of it is pumpkin, just a simple interior. You can add decors if you want. Before I forget, here's what the carriage looks like at night. Here's how you can make a spooky pathway with stones, cobblestones, and tub. After that, you wanna add stone pressure plates and buttons for details. And finally, add some dead corals around for a grayish grass look. This part is optional. And simple as that, you now have a spooky pathway to walk around. On a dead tree, you can hang a skeleton using a chain and barrier. Now place the armor stand with chainmail and iron armor. Simple as that. It's a pretty neat Halloween decoration to put up. You can try hanging Steve or even yourself if you want. If you want to know how I made this dead tree, you can watch my dripstone build hacks part 2 on my channel or click the link in the description. One of my favorite Halloween decorations you can make is a giant spider. Use glow item frames and ender eye for our spider. Don't forget to adjust them. For the legs, we're going to use nether bricks and dark oak fences. Four on each side.
Lastly, add cobwebs at the back. And there's our giant spider. What I personally like about this spider is you can build it upside down, so we have two options and more possibilities when making it. And let's not forget about his eyes glowing in the dark. Another Halloween decor you can make outdoors is by making a ritual place. Maybe in the middle of the forest or in your backyard. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you're already familiar with this. You can do this indoors, I added some glazed terracottas as the carpet and an item frame with a spider eye. In addition to the indoor ritual, you can add a lectern with a book. Add a glow item frame and a spyglass, you have an Ouija board. Doesn't look like much, but it reminds me of it. Just like the Ouija board, we're going to apply the same concept to the spell book but with a skeleton skull and any stained glass paint color you like. Pretty simple and magical to me. If you want a different spellbook design, you can use a piston as a book to display on the wall. I call this the forbidden book. You can add invisible glow item frame and ender eye to the piston to make it spooky. Secure it with chains to the front so no one can touch the book nor open it. Now we have a forbidden book. You can use respawn anchor as an alternative to the pistons if you want a darker approach to the book. If you need more witch stuff, here's how you can make a witch hat. For this to work, you're going to need an armor stand with a dyed leather helmet, purple to be exact. Of course, let's not forget about the witch's broom. Now you can do it using a spruce fence, any fence, but the reason I chose the lightning rod is that you can place them sideways. And that gives me an idea to make a witch using the sideways broom. For this to work, all you need is a barrier, place it below this rod, and now we can summon the armor stands without them falling. Make sure to dye the leather armor in the right color. Place it on the armor stand, and there is our witch. It looks amazing. For added bonus, you can add green stained glass paint at the back so it has these magical effects coming out of the broom. Also, another bonus, you can add another armor stand behind the witch, so it could be you or any other person. It looks pretty epic. There you go folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and before I let you go, I just want to say a quick thank you to some of you for sending me some fan arts. If you want to send a fan art or have any ideas in mind, then be sure to click the invite link in the description below.